But they're bringing her out now. Okay, something else I wanted to share. Um, and this is quite disturbing to me. Family, if you have bad news to share with someone, over the phone is never the way to do it. If you can avoid it at all, then do so. If you can't avoid it, what I would offer is you call someone who can be with that person and have them be present to help break the news if you have to share it over the phone. For example, you live in New York, I live in California, and you've got some bad news to tell me. So you call someone that you know that lives near me and say, okay, go over to the house or be very close so when I call and tell her, you know, she's got some support. Um, and try to make sure they're in position. Make sure they're, they're stable someplace. They don't have to get in the car and drive because I'm sitting outside of a grocery store right now. And, and I feel very unfortunate in that to, to share what I'm about to share. But this is the reality of it. A woman is in the, sh in the store buying her groceries and someone calls to give her bad news. Now, it didn't occur to them to wait until she got home. She picked up her groceries and, you know, maybe another 30 minutes or so she's home. It didn't occur to them to say, okay, well, get someone to go meet her at the grocery store. They just called and gave her the news. And here's the news. They called to tell her that her husband just committed suicide. So she's in the middle of the grocery store with her groceries and she gets the call and she's screaming and now she's done passed out and we have to, well not we, they're, they're calling you know emergency services and things like that to help her. And I get all of that and, and I don't know what's going on, don't even know the woman. Don't know, you know, what happened, why her husband did it, how he did it, any of that. I just want to make a, make a point to you all that when we have to share bad news Think of the person who's going to receive the news. Are they in position to receive it? Are they someplace stable where they don't have to drive and, and you know be unsafe trying to get home or whatever the case may be? Because oftentimes we get calls like that and the first thing we want to do is get to the location. Um, this is the middle of rush hour. So if she were able to get in her car and drive, would she have been um, mentally uh, functioning enough to drive safely home? People are not thinking about things like that. So that's what I want you guys to do. I've been in the situation and I know um, I've made some drives that, that I should not have made in, in stressful times like that where I got calls and um, I had to get on the road and, and, and it wasn't the safest. And I've learned from it and I've shared that stuff, shared it in one of my other videos. And I say again now, when you've got bad news to tell someone, make sure there's someone else with them. They're... Um, that's stable right. someplace um, and then you break the news and if you can do it in person that's always best um, take care and uh, we will catch you on the next one